Kirby. He's pink, he's round, he makes lots of sound, but apparently that wasn't good enough for some people, and so a convoluted lore had to be built. Let's start at the beginning. On a planet called Popstar, in the land of sunshine and rainbows, all the creatures live in fear of a giant tyrannical penguin who's stolen all the food on Dreamland. That is, until one pink puff suddenly shows up in town, starts eating all of his minions, gives DDD a big old punch in the gullet, and they've been best friends ever since. But King DDD isn't Kirby's only rival. There's also Meta Knight, who started an entire war against Dreamland, literally just because the residents were being too lazy. But he's also a blob of chivalry, and will offer a sword to Kirby before every fight, even if his airship is currently plummeting down into the ocean. So yeah, you may have noticed that the bad guys so far aren't necessarily bad guys. That's because the true villains of the Kirby series are the eldritch horror eyeball monsters we met along the way. Let me break it down for you. There's Nebula, who is a smaller slice of Dark Matter, who is a smaller slice of Zero, who is later reincarnated as Zero Two. Not not the anime girl. Basically, they all have giant eyeballs, can possess people, and look like something straight out of a creepypasta. Well, besides Gooey, who is also a slice of dark matter that somehow became a good guy, thanks to Kirby's immaculate vibes. On top of the eyeball squad, Kirby also has to battle a whole slew of intergalactic threats, like Marx and Magalore, who on two separate occasions both tricked Kirby into handing over some kind of magical artifact that granted them the power of a god. Then there's President Haltman and his secretary, who travel around in a UFO mechanizing entire planets, including possibly the entire planet Earth, there's Sectonia, the queen who spent so much time looking into a mirror that she turned into a bee, as well as the crew of completely original characters from the mirror dimension, rats, and last but not least, Nightmare. Nobody really knows what his deal is, but he likes to hang out in the Fountain of Dreams. And honestly, can't blame him, the music there is pretty tight. So you might be thinking to yourself, with all these powerful enemies, how does one single gumball compete? Well, with the power of friendship, of course. And by power of friendship, I mean being the reincarnated form of a god. Let's get into the backstory. So the creator of the Kirby universe is this god slash being slash source of all life called Void. Almost nothing is known about it, except that when it comes across high amounts of positive or negative emotions, it reincarnates itself into a physical form, with the former being an all-powerful being determined to spread happiness and love, and the latter being an all-powerful being determined to do the opposite. So sometime in the distant past, Void, whatever it is, must have come across some overwhelmingly negative emotions, like maybe from the YouTube comment section or something, and reincarnated itself into a planet-destroying monster called Void Termina. Meanwhile, there was also a super advanced society called the Ancients, yeah, super original name I know, who were split up into two different factions. There were the Sciency Ancients, who created the structure for super powerful weapons, and the magic -y Ancients, who imbued them with magic. With creations such as a clock that can grant any wish, or a spaceship that can travel across time and dimensions, you can imagine that they were pretty overpowered. Well, the Ancients eventually caught wind of Void Termina and sent four heroes after it, who sealed it away in a crystally prison called the Jamba Heart, with one of the four heroes being a dude named Galactonite, who was super powerful. Like, so powerful that even the Ancients were afraid of him. And they could, like, bend reality to their will. So the magic -y Ancients sealed Galactonite away for all of eternity, and then the Science-y Ancients were like, okay, hold on. They just sealed away Galactonite, who sealed away Void Termina, so these guys must be super duper strong. And so the entire magic -y race of Ancients were banished from their civilization, which obviously made them pretty upset. So they started making plans to resurrect Void Termina and enact their revenge on humanity. Thousands of years later, their plan succeeds. Unfortunately, this is where Kirby steps into the picture, and killing gods is kind of his whole thing. 
Okay, now it's time for the lightning round. AKA, I'm too tired to draw, here's a bunch of information that might be important if you plan on playing a new Kirby game. Part 1. Where are all the characters at the current points in the timeline? Well... Magalore built an amusement park and was thus forgiven for his crimes of trying to take over the entire universe. Marx survived the nuclear explosion caused by Nova and was also forgiven for his crimes against the universe. Susie took over the Haltman Company and is probably still mechanizing planets. Galacta Knight keeps breaking out of his unbreakable crystal prison and having epic showdowns with Meta Knight and I guess is now fused with a butterfly. Is this canon? I don't know. Shadow Kirby is protecting the mirror dimension. Sectonia is super dead and her ex-boyfriend Taranza is is now looking for love. Void Termina was purged of all negative emotions by Kirby and was possibly reborn as a new Kirby or Kirby-like creature. I don't know, please don't ask me about Void Termina, it's confusing and vague and it makes my head hurt and I'm just waiting for a new game to hopefully clear all that up. The leader of the dudes who resurrected Void Termina was also forgiven for trying to sacrifice all of his daughters to a dark god and is now having fun at the beach. Gooey is having an existential crisis. Adeline and Ribbon, I really didn't talk about, but Crystal Shards is a great game and I support the strange gumball fairy love story. And that's it. Hopefully this video can serve as a good introduction into the Kirby series. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, then subscribe and leave a comment telling me what games I should cover next. It'll really help me out in the forbidden YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.